This is day two on our self-portrait project. We are creating the background this week. The background is what is behind your composition. We want our background to have movement. Movement is the path the eye moves through the picture. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a horizon line. That's where our land is going to meet the sky. You want to think about things that are going to tell about you. Maybe you put your house in it does not have to look exactly like your house most of the time. I just use a square and that symbol of a house where you get a door and a window. So then you have your little triangle roof and sometimes I add a chimney. I'm then adding a sidewalk. So this bringing, notice how my sidewalk is bringing it towards the person. So it's also showing movement. I have a road. Notice how the road is also bringing the lines towards my person. I'm starting to add my sky, I'm adding a sun, and I'm going to also end up adding clouds and trees in the background. Think about what might be around where you live that you could add to your story to tell a little bit about you. I'm going to add my dog, Indiana. This week we also want to really focus in on coloring in neatly with our crayons and completely. That means the whole picture will be colored in. Now when we're looking at our background we want to think about the colors of different things. What is the color of the road? What is the color of a sidewalk? What is the color of sky? Sky is blue. Remember clouds are white. Your sun would be yellow. Trees are green and brown. Think about the colors of the different objects that you're placing in there that represent you. Take the time to color in neatly. And you can also, with crayons, vary your pressure. If you're coloring in lighter, that might be for coloring in big spaces. And then if you color in pressing harder, that might be to add more details or lines to focus the viewer's eye. 